I'm Jeffrey Arend, reporting tonight from Bangkok, Thailand, where the International Air Transport Association, IATA, is holding its third annual World Cargo Symposium all this week. I'm Julian Keeling, president of Consolidates International in Los Angeles. Uh, My website is www.cii-usa.com. So what's the top priority right now in cargo? What's important now? What's important now is, is the industry going to remain intact through this crisis and um, the plans that need to be implemented almost right away to survive. And uh, one of the reasons I was invited uh, to the symposium was to uh, give my angle from a small forwarder's point of view. Yeah, what do you think? Uh, Well, for for my particular company, um, we've had to take some drastic action and we had less than a month to do it in. Uh, in the month of December, our numbers just were appalling. And yeah. uh, the beginning of January, it was even worse. We had to reduce our overhead uh, by 20%. Wow. And uh, this involved making some <coughs> drastic changes. Uh, we had to reduce our staff numbers by 20%. Uh, all senior staff actually took a 20% reduction in salary. We uh, suspended the 401k company contribution and uh, changed the health care plan, reduced the cost by half. Yeah. Um, just to survive. Just to survive. Yeah. Um, because <coughs> without in my business, without uh, the critical mass, uh, we build ULDs. As you know, we're a wholesaler and uh, we were involved. We have to, we're the kilo millionaires. And, but we need the, the, the millions of kilos. Uh, because our margins are so low. And if we don't have the ability uh, to have large quantities of freight, the mix and match that we make our money from, um, our gross profits uh, decline more rapidly um, as the revenue declines itself. So what lies ahead? Uh, I think we're in this uh, recession, I call it depression, probably for the next three years. Um, I think that the financial markets have collapsed. I'm not an economist, but my gut feel is that uh, it's going to take more than government help um, to bail out the banks. We don't know what the toxic debt is. Um, They talk three trillion, one trillion. No one knows, and it'll be some while before I think that all comes out. But in the meantime, uh, credit is uh, virtually non-existent. Uh, and businesses today are reliant upon credit. Um, And I think that consumer uh, spending is rapidly on the decline in the Western world. Uh, How many suits do we need in our wardrobe? How many pairs of shoes we need? And I think we're entering probably a new era where consumerism will take a different direction. Now for trade, and that's the business that we're in, moving boxes, I just see a declining market and I think that air freight probably is going to be more greatly affected uh, than ocean freight. What's the rest of the strategy, Julian? Our strategy is, our goal is to get a bigger slice of a smaller pie. And uh, we've strengthened our marketing, although we've reduced our operational staff because the number of shipments we're handling uh, have reduced uh, uh, dramatically. Um, we've increased our marketing, and uh, we're looking at little niche things. Um, our niche market is the uh, South Pacific, but now we're going more heavily into the Pacific Islands. we have uh, probably now handling about uh, 50% of all the f- air freight that moves into Pangapang. Not a large amount, but the rates are high because there's only uh, one airline literally flying in there. Um, the margins are good, and it's for the tuna. Uh, tuna fish industry. Yeah, so, so if you can find it and you can pronounce it, you might be able to do business there. You got it. Yeah. And um, we're also looking at other angles of uh, uh, California as the home of the entertainment industry. Yes. And uh, we've created a division backstage cargo. And uh, we're handing nice little chunks of uh, the entertainment business. So if I hear you right, sir, you're saying that entrepreneurship is not dead. You just have to go out and try to find something different. Right, right. I think that 
this, the one thing that this recession is going to do is going to motivate a lot of people. And, you know, it's the half full, half empty syndrome. Yeah. And uh, we're just determined, you know, we want to survive and we want to come out even stronger. And so that's, a, that's our plan, literally. Yeah. And it, so far this year, we've had a little bit of luck go our way as well. We, were, we, we followed up on the, a large shipment we did three years ago uh, to Australia of fire, fire retardant. Yeah. And uh, earlier this month, of course, uh, the south of Australia, yeah. um, 200 yeah. odd lives were lost. Yeah. Um, Terrible. The weekend it started, uh, my uh, VP sales was making contact with the fire department in Victoria. By Sunday, he was speaking to the government official who was going to give the answer do we have to air freight retardant down or don't we? Yeah. On Monday, we got the nod, and over the last three weeks, we've moved 350 ton, 350 ton of, at express rates. Wow. And it, it just shows where there's a will, there's a way. And it was the way we followed through. As soon as those fires started, you know, it's hot. In some respects, I feel badly that here we are, if you like, making some money out of a disaster. But nevertheless, it showed the initiative and the entrepreneurship of my colleague to say, hey, there may be an opportunity here. And three weeks later, 350 tonnes of fiery tonne, we moved via Qantas and Federal Express to Australia. If you'd like further information on developing air cargo topics, go to www.aircargonews.com. If you'd like a free subscription to Air Cargo News and to our thrice weekly publication, Flying Typers, write to me, Jeffrey, at aircargonews.com. In the meantime, thanks for watching and keep them flying.